Cover all that basics in less than three minutes. There are three steps to this process. We're gonna fetch our footage and verify our camera science. Then we're gonna grade with AI assistance. Finally, we're gonna match our shots and send our footage back to our editorial tool. Let's go. First step is to fetch our footage from Premiere. When you fetch your footage, you'll get a chance to validate the camera science for Carla Lab. Check by selecting a camera, drag any clips to the camera name to assign or reassign. Have footage shot logged but don't know which camera? Create a generic log camera profile and drag clips to it. non log footage? Create a Rec. 709 camera profile and assign clips. Graphics, assign them to an sRGB profile. Now press done. The AI engine analyzes the footage in the background. The blue check mark means it's been processed. You can speed it up by pressing the button on the top toolbar here. Step two, let's get to grading. Pick a hero shot. Press the A key with the teal button to have the AI assist adjust the color. Press the enter key or the color tune button and examine the various AI interpretations of your footage. Select a model based on your preferences. Hit apply or enter to close the color tune panel. You may want to guide the AI for key areas of exposure. Use the exposure tool here and draw a box around what's most important. You can raise or lower the exposure based on stops like you were using a camera. Now, when we grade, we talk about versions. ColorLab borrows the concept of versions from Colorist. Underneath the scopes, you'll find these versions, a snapshot of all your current adjustments, starting with the initial fetch. At any point, touch traditional controls, such as lift, gamma, and gain wheels, or contrast pivot knobs. Press the plus button here to make your own version. Color Lab doesn't have an undo redo feature because what you really want to do is make comparisons of your creativity. Thanks to versions, it's the best way to work. Once you're happy with your hero shot, add a show look. Give your footage some seasoning, a feel. Remember, make as many versions as you need and step through them to compare. Z will totally reset a shot. When you're happy with the hero shot for a scene, turn it into a reference. It's the fingerprint or R key. Note the center area. The two thumbnail wells now show our graded reference in the show look. These are stored in the AI References panel for this project. To tell the rest of the scene to match your reference, you'll press the button called Match Scene on the toolbar or press Shift A. Realistically, you'd step through each shot to check and adjust as needed using the exposure tool, the color models, or traditional controls. Last step, push back to Premiere and you're back to editing. No render needed. And yes, you can repeat this process and make further adjustments as much as needed. Those were the key basics in less than three minutes. We've barely scratched the surface of what Color Lab can do for you. Key features include the AI and timeline intelligence to help you sort through your footage, a gorgeous look designer that utilizes subtractive color space like film, and finally, AI references to assist in matching from any source, including those you provide or iconic films. With all this power, it's a good thing that Color Lab's DNA is around education. Go to colorlab.ai and watch tutorials created by top educators. A quick getting started series, a software agnostic color bootcamp, and open office hours for deeper questions. Learn how to leverage AI today and how to truly work smarter. The trial of Color Lab lasts for 32 days because we know that a month is not enough.